The Miami Marlins are a mess of an organization. There's no denying that. In the past, what, year, year and a half, they traded away the 2017 National League MVP and the 2018 National League MVP, as well as Marcelo Zuna, D. Gordon, just to name a few others, Justin Bohr as well. JT Realmuto looks to be on his way out. Ever since Jeter stepped in, he wants to rebrand the Miami Marlins. And honestly, like, I think the trades were a terrible idea, but the rebrand, I don't think that's a bad idea. Because ever since the latest rebranding of the Miami Marlins, oof, oof, it seems like the team's gotten even worse. Because that logo, those jerseys, just the stadium, everything, well, uh, terrible. Terrible. Now, as you can tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about the new logo, the new jersey, the new hats, the new revamp of the Miami Marlins. I would love to know what you guys think about the Miami Marlins new rebrand in the comment section down below. Do you like the rebrand? Do you like the new colors, logos, jerseys, etc.? Now, without further ado, let's get talking about these new Miami Marlins logos, jerseys, hats, everything. Let's start off with the logo. So the Marlins have two logos. They have the primary and the secondary, the secondary appearing on the hat. I don't know what I think about these. I honestly feel like the colors are a little bit too muted in my opinion. They're bright, but they're just not, they're just not pop, you know? They don't go, wow! I do think it is a better logo, without a doubt, a much better logo than the one that they had prior to this. And even probably better than their original logo because it was just almost too detailed. Now in 2018, we're kind of in a more simplistic style for logos and stuff like that. But maybe it's just because it's the first time really seeing it, it's still new. I'm not yet sold on it. I think it could have been better, but at the same time, I think it's an improvement and definitely better than what they had. Personally, I like the one that doesn't say Miami on it the most. I just like the straight up M1. I think that one looks a lot better than the one that says Miami. So if I had to pick the secondary, I guess that's technically the secondary one. I like that one better. That's the one that appears on the hats. Now, when we talk about their hats, they really only have one out right now. And I can't imagine that they're not going to do more than one, but we only have access to one at this moment. It's a black hat. It's got that M logo with the Marlin on it. All black. It's got the new era in that teal blue color. It's weird because... In the logo, it looks like it's more of a blue, and then on the hat, it looks more teal. And then on their jerseys, you'll see this more blue. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. I know that stitching and threading, it's a little different with the colors. Sometimes you just cannot make a color, or it's very expensive to make a certain color. But then that makes you go, why would you choose a color that you can't match throughout the entire thing? You want consistency, but hey, whatever. I'm, I'm, I mean, I am critiquing it. This is why you guys clicked the video on to see my reaction. My reaction is, it's not the same color on everything. But the hat, eh. I need to see it in full jersey. I know they released that video where they gave you a better look. Not crazy about it, but I don't hate it. It's not a hat that I'll be buying anytime soon or probably ever, honestly. I know with the Mets, you would think like, oh, you're not going to buy that anyway because of Marlins hats, but the Marlins have never really been an issue for me, so I would have considered buying one if it was nice, but... I don't know, not a fan of the hat. Jersey-wise, they showed us, what, four different jerseys. They showed us the white home, the gray away, and then they have the two alternates of the, I guess what we're gonna call teal and the black. Let's start off by talking about the home jersey. White jersey, Miami across the front. I think it's nice, it's simple, nothing crazy. Again, I'm not crazy about the black lettering on it with the weird outline of the blue and the red. Not crazy about it, but I think, again, it's still better than the ones that they had. It's very Miami Vice-like, which their logo doesn't give off those colors of that pink and that blue, those neon colors, but their jersey does give off that Miami Vice feel that you see the Heat using in their logos and jerseys. And honestly, after seeing it with the names on the back, it actually does look a little bit better. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, I'd probably go six and a half. I don't hate it, but I'm not like, oh damn, that's the best jersey in baseball. I'm normally not one for the gray jerseys, but I think I actually do like these gray jerseys. Something about them, I'm like, those look I think it's just because their their jerseys have been so bad in the previous years that this gray one's actually kind of nice It's a different kind of gray It's a little more colorful than a lot of teams have normally on their gray jerseys I think again if I was to give it a rating it's in that 6.5 range I think it's nice for an away jersey not the best but not the worst either now we go to their alternates the black jersey I absolutely hate it's horrible. The Marlins on the front looks weird I think the black lettering with the outline of the neon colors on a black jersey looks absolutely horrible. I think it's a terrible looking jersey. And listen, I'm a fan of black jerseys. One of my favorite jerseys of all time is the Mets black jerseys. I love those. But this Marlins black one, ugh, terrible, terrible. I think if they put that, if they put the Marlins in that blue or teal or whatever color they're going with, oh, it would have popped so well, but they just... They missed the mark on this one. I understand the look they're going for. It's like the neon sign type thing, all that. I don't like it. These jerseys, like a two out of 10 for me. Terrible, terrible. They're teal or what it looks like is more of like a cool blue jersey. I'm not sold on it. It looks like a spring training jersey to me. It looks like a batting practice jersey to me. I don't know how it will look in full uniform. Again, not sold on this one either. Kind of how I feel with their entire thing. I'm really gonna need to see it in game. I need to see it on the field, see it on the players before I can really give my 
full initial opinion, but just off the first reaction, not crazy about it. Again, spring training, batting practice. It just doesn't look like a real professional baseball team's jersey. I know a lot of teams do the logos, you know, in the top right or top left-hand corner on their jerseys, but something about this Marlins one just looks very cheap very lazy, not a huge fan of it at all. And I think the color is a really interesting color for a jersey. Not many teams have this color. Honestly, I don't think any team has this color as a jersey in the major leagues, besides when the teams were like their old school 70s or 80s jerseys with like those powder blues. But this, this one pops a little bit more. The numbers and the name on it actually look pretty good, but I feel like the front is just lame. Just lame. Doesn't, just doesn't do, just doesn't do any justice. I don't know. I, you see, I'm very confused on how to explain it because I don't want to completely trash it but it's just lackluster. I, the front's very boring. It has the logo in the top left or the top right. I can't tell. I'm, my, my perception's off. But these jerseys are just very boring, very lackluster. It's got the logo in the top left of the jersey, and that's really it. Not even a number on the front of the jersey. Like, I don't know. This just doesn't seem like it, there's, this, this blue jersey was given much thought. It looks like something that I could make on Diamond Dynasty, and if I can make it on Diamond Dynasty, you're not looking... It's not a good design because... Whew, my design skills on there are not good. So the blue jersey, I don't know, like a three out of 10. It's not worse than the black jersey, but it's definitely not a good jersey. Again, I would love to know what you guys think about these jerseys, the hat, the new logo in the comment section down below. So make sure you get down there. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, enjoy the content, leave a like, all that good stuff. I got a banger of a video coming out tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one. I promise you're not gonna wanna miss it. We're talking about free agents. We're talking about where they're going. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So stick around, watch it tomorrow. And yeah, that's the end of this video. YouTube recommends you watch this. This is my most recent upload. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.